My name is Michel Kehela. I am the Chief Endoscopy and Clinical Director at Rutgers, Robert Wood Johnson, and I have with here with me one of our co-authors, Iman Andalib. Hi, my name is Iman Andalib. Uh, I'm a current GI Fellow at uh, SUNY Downstate in Brooklyn, New York. We're here to talk to you about our paper, um, Gastric Peroral Endoscopic Myotomy for the Treatment of Refractory Gastroparesis, an international multi-century collaborative study. So Iman, what was the aim of our study? So as you know, the results of current treatment for refractory gastroparesis are pretty discouraging. And uh, G-POEM has been offered as a novel therapy for management of these patients with refractory gastroparesis. This is actually the largest uh, international multicenter study that have looked at the safety and efficacy of G-POEM uh, for management of these difficult patients. Yeah. Large study, which included patients from the French team of Gonzalez and Barté, as well as the Venezuelan team of Alberto Batista. And what can we extract from uh, this study in terms of results? So, a G poem was successfully performed in all 33 patients that we had. Uh, we had a response rate of 85% that was defined by symptomatic improvement as well as ga gastric emptying study improvement. And why do you think uh, we had such a good success rate of 85%? So uh, the most important thing is to select your patients right. Um, we excluded all the patients that they were on uh, chronic uh, narcotic uh, medications, and we also included in our study all the patients that had idiopathic gastroparesis or post-surgical uh, vagotomy uh, patients who developed gastroparesis after. There were also some patients that had diabetes. What did we do for those patients before including them? Right, so we definitely made sure that all of the patients who had uh, diabetes, that their hemoglobin A1C were well controlled and her, their diabetes were under control, basically. So do you think we can safely conclude that once you select your patient appropriately and confirm your gastroparesis with the gastric emptying study, you should expect a success rate around 85% as long as you use those criteria very strictly? Absolutely. Like I said, this was a large study and uh, we had a great 85% rate, uh, response rate. So yeah, definitely. Thank you for your attention and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.